A disabled elderly couple in Sacramento reached out after the uh, county, they claimed the county in-home support services had failed them. They said they hadn't received care for more than six months. So here at ABC 10, we stand for you. We started asking questions. ABC 10's Lena Howland has been on this story for several days now. So Lena, some of our viewers saw this too. What happened? Well, that's right. Well, it didn't take long after airing Daryl and Carol Del Monte's story last week for our phones here in the newsroom to start ringing. A viewer, Nancy, and her husband, George, were so touched by this story. They called asking if they could spend a few hours volunteering to help clean up this home for the two homebound seniors over the weekend. As bags of fermenting garbage piled up inside of Daryl and Carol Del Monte's small Sacramento apartment. So literally, we've had nobody. After they say the help they've relied on for the past eight years from Sacramento County's in-home supportive services program stopped showing up more than six months ago and instead said it's their responsibility to find, hire, and oversee their own caregivers. I never dreamed that I would end up living like this. Viewer and Good Samaritan Nancy and her husband George weren't about to let the story end there. It's heartbreaking because when Carol said, we don't live like this. That got me. And I thought, Carol, I'm going to see if I can help you not live like this. So they packed up their cleaning supplies and extra trash bags and drove down from Antelope. It's going to take us a while, okay? Nancy mentioned that she didn't want any credit for this. She didn't even want to be on camera. She said all she wanted was to take out their trash. It really hurts to think people are living like this and nobody pays attention. It was just a need I wanted to help because we could all be in this position anytime. It doesn't matter your age. And that helping hand was more than this couple even dreamed of. I feel a big time sense of relief. At least we know we've got somebody in the moment who is going to help take some of the load off our back. We're overwhelmed with gratitude. Uh, to Channel 10 for airing the story first of all, and then to these kind people who are volunteering their time and effort to, to help us. But their fight with the county's in-home supportive services program isn't over as they are still looking for a more permanent solution, pushing the county for more help in finding a long-term caregiver. We will continue to follow this for you and let you know what happens. Y'all oh, clean up. All right, Lena, you were there. Thank you. I appreciate you doing that story, and I'm sure the Del Montes are over the moon happy about uh, getting a little help, at least temporarily.